What's truly unified about unified communications? UC is a bit of a, a bit of a misnomer because it's the unification of it's more than just the unification of the media to all of the devices in the enterprise. This is not about communicating the same old thing while extending it to every device. It's about looking at the enterprise and seeing how you can reconceive of the way you communicate. And that's, that's where the real opportunity here is. Um, today, additional dimensions come to mind beyond the device. You know, if you think about devices, it's a horizontal access. But there's other, other dimensions that you need to consider. And one of the dimensions is the applications. Think of services. That's what we call them now. Uh, business support systems, uh, operational support systems that support the business functions of the organization. And the other one is context. Context is a natural extension of presence. So presence lets you know where I am. I'm in a meeting or I'm at work or I'm off. But context says I'm driving and I want to receive information from this select group of people and I want to know other things that are relevant to that. So when I'm driving and an email comes in from a key client, I really want to hear what that client's email is saying. I don't want a notification via text message that I have an email. I want to know the content and I want to be able to understand it, digest it, and respond in the format that suits me at the time. So for me, communication, you see it begins to be about fit and value. So that's the first piece when you start thinking about unified communication, you have to look at those three elements. So when you look at UC, particularly in the vision that a lot of us are, are coming to understand, uh, it cuts across the enterprise and you think of an enterprise as silos of functions today. Functions that include the human resources, functions that include the set of applications and services. And just take for example services. Um, you have a set of software services that are becoming available that are fairly smart. Uh, Adam Shire, who's the creator of Surrey, calls these do engines. These are, you know, better than think of think of search, but think of something that's more useful. And it can go across the organization's applications and pick up the bits and pieces of information that are relevant to a particular transaction. So now you've got the series of silos and think services, sales, um, back office functions, and so forth, and, and collapsing or cutting across these and being able to glean all that information and move it forward to the person who's interacting with a customer. And this really kind of, the best example of this is the contact center environment. When you think of contact centers, um, you know, a variety of experiences come to mind. You know, on the one hand, the one that we've all dealt with, you, you dial an 800 number, you've got a problem, you pick up, and the guy who picks up the phone, uh, suddenly you realize that your, your problem is secondary to whether or not this person can understand English. On the other hand, I had an experience this weekend which shows the promise of where this is going. You know, I was in Ohio, I had a warning light on my dashboard, I have OnStar, I pressed OnStar, I connect to one of GM's contact centers or OnStar's contact centers and I talk to an agent. Well, that agent's actually reading from a script and he was able to help me to a certain extent. He actually ran an onboard diagnostic. So now you have an agent in a contact center using an application that reaches out and helps me as a customer. Unfortunately, the result was a different problem that I didn't even know existed. So the agent took it as far as he could. He hung up. I ended up picking up the phone. I called the, um, I called the dealership. I talked to their service advisor who actually could correlate what I saw on the dashboard with what the OnStar agent saw in his own experience and we made it, we came to the conclusion that it was a temporary problem that we could, we could fix and, until I could get back home. But that's an experience that could be a lot richer. OnStar could easily have figured out how, and they will over time, figure out how to identify people that are experts 
what their state is, their presence, and be able to have that agents conference them in to the conversation so that I can get all the help I need on that transaction. In addition, that agent will be able to then reach out and see where I'm traveling. Context, you know, I'm not at home, he knows where I am, he knows my warranty information, he probably knows my vehicle maintenance information. And now he can line up a service call and some, somewhere along the drive that I don't have to get too far out of the way on. So that's where it could be. And that's kind of a case where we have to rethink the possibilities of what communication can do for us. So how do you really accomplish this? Since the dawn of IT, there really has been two options. One, find someone that's going to build everything for you, proprietary, or find the best to breed applications or solutions and find someone that's going to st stitch those together for you. And, and over time, one model has looked better than the other. So y y you kind of go down that road and you've got to make your choices. However, if you go to the proprietary solution, you, you generally wind up in a cul-de-sac. Um, and you end up finding that if you had value in your business processes, you've begun to change the business processes to fit the solution. Anyone that's implemented SAP clearly understands that. Um, so what we see is the emergence of a group of companies in the professional service space, the, the systems integrators, who can take the best of these applications and figure out how to put them together for the customer set that we're talking about. And that's really, at the end of the day, the, the way that you're going to get the value out of the unified communications. And it's got to be able to cut across the devices, the application set, the stylos, and the context, and bring that to the user population.